Critical analysis of the text. Borders and Boundaries succeeds as both a history of women in partition and a model for women's history research. Menon and Bhaseen could have easily portrayed the major groups in this drama as oppressors or victims. Instead, they chose to believe their research and to represent the complexities of the situation, the disagreements of politicians debating rehabilitation policy, the self-doubts of social workers, and the strategies of abducted women to rebuild their lives and achieve a modicum of personal and economic independence. There hasn't been a feminist historiography of partition yet. Ritu Menon and Kamla Bhaseen focus their investigation on women. The book is primarily based on interviews, and the stories of the ladies are told in their own words. These tales are stitched together using official and unofficial historical facts. Millions of Hindus and Sikhs traveled from West to East Punjab in 1947, while Muslims crossed in the opposite way. On foot, in bullock carts, trucks, and trains. Convoys were ambushed, families were split up, children were orphaned, women were abducted, and entire trainloads were slaughtered. In this performance of violence, women held a specific place. They were subjected to violence by men from the other group, as well as being murdered by their own relatives in order to preserve individual and family honor. The book's style makes it appealing to a wide range of readers. And the subject matter is timely and cross-culturally relevant. Women and political and religious violence is a topic that transcends geographical and temporal boundaries. Menon and Bhaseen show, through innovative research and sensitive analysis, that the lessons of partition do not have to be lost to history or confined to India's borders. Anyone interested in the politics of gender, violence, and religion should read this book. India was simultaneously freed and divided in 1947. Partition touched everyone in some manner. But it had a particularly negative impact on women as they sought to reassemble their lives. What made them feel at home in this nation of redrawn lines? To them, what did nation mean? Religion? Community? Is it possible to have true freedom? We get another view of that momentous time, from the margins as it were. Through the stories of women and an accompanying narrative that places them in a social and political context. And we look anew not only at how history is written but also at those age-old boundaries of religion, community, gender, and nation. Through the stories of women and an accompanying narrative that places them in a social and political context. They bring a mix of analytical, joyful, and performative feminist, weapons, to their participation. Bhaseen's outstanding communication talents garnered enormous crowds of young supporters, deploying, slogans, art, music, and comedy to make her brief, accessible primers on gender, patriarchy, and peace resonate across groups while unraveling the most complicated of feminist principles. Ritu Menon is a publisher who has written extensively about women and the media, violence against women, and fundamentalism against women. She has also guest edited an international journal of post-colonial studies special issue on partition for interventions, 1999. Kamla Bhaseen has spent the last 25 years working in the field of women and development. And she has written extensively on participatory training in women's development and sustainable development. She is the author of a number of anti-sexist children's books and activist songs.